In the realm of modern Russian military aviation, two formidable fighters have emerged, the Su-57 and the Mig-35. Both aircraft are designed to dominate the skies, but which one is truly superior? Today, we'll delve into the world of these fighters and compare their strengths and weaknesses. The Su-57 the Su-57 is Russia's fifth-generation stealth fighter, designed to outmaneuver and outgun its adversaries. Stealth Technology The Su-57 is designed to be stealthy, making it difficult to detect by radar. Advanced Avionics It boasts advanced avionics and sensor systems. Super Maneuverability The Su-57 is known for its exceptional maneuverability, allowing it to perform complex aerial maneuvers. The MiG-35 the MiG-35 is a fourth-generation plus-plus fighter, a significant upgrade to the MiG-29. It's designed to be a versatile and affordable fighter jet. Maneuverability. The MiG-35 is highly maneuverable, making it a formidable opponent in dogfights. Advanced avionics. It features advanced avionics and weapons systems. Cost-effective. The MiG-35 is relatively affordable compared to other fifth-generation fighters. Comparison. While both the Su-57 and Mig-35 are impressive fighters, they have distinct strengths and weaknesses. Stealth. The Su-57 stealth technology gives it a significant advantage. Maneuverability. Both aircraft are highly maneuverable, but the Su-57 might have a slight edge. Cost. The Mig-35 is more affordable, making it a more attractive option for countries with limited budgets. As technology continues to advance, the future of fighter jets is uncertain. The Su-57 and Mig-35 represent the current state of Russian fighter technology, but they may soon be surpassed by newer, more advanced designs. The Su-57 and Mig-35 are both formidable fighters, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. The choice between these two aircraft will ultimately depend on the specific needs and priorities of the Russian Air Force. As technology continues to evolve, it remains to be seen how these fighters will shape the future of aerial warfare. Thanks for watching.